So, welcome to yoga. My name is Amy. I'll be guiding you through your practice today. Uh, we're going to do some similar flows to what we did last class on Thursday. So some twists, um, a lot of like side plank and one-legged things. Um, with the focus being on creating unity, creating unity between two sides of the body, creating unity between the body and the mind, um, and just also the idea of creating unity between ourselves and others, between ourselves and the universe. Um, a lot of yoga is based on the idea of creating union. Um, some people will even say that the definition of yoga is union or to yoke together. So with a lot of things feeling quite fractionated right now, maybe feeling unanchored, unity just seems to be a very <laughs> appropriate theme to bring to our mats today to cultivate in ourselves through our yoga practice. And I'd like to share with you a quote from BKS Iyengar, and it is, yoga is like music. The rhythm, the rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, and the harmony of the soul. They create the symphony of life. And so with that, we'll begin in child's pose. So in child's pose, you bring your knees wide to the edges of the mat, and you bring your big toes together to touch, Sink your heels back towards your hips. You walk your hands out in front of you and allow your forearms and your forehead to find the mat. Let your torso sink down between your thighs. And begin to notice your grounding points, the places where your body is in contact with the earth, the places where the earth is supporting you. From the beginning to slow your breath, Feel your lips and breathe through your nose, becoming aware of the inhales and the exhales. As you observe the inhale, as the belly fills and the exhale, as the belly comes back towards the spine. Begin to let your mind release whatever happened earlier today or whatever might happen later tonight. Allow your mind to empty so you can bring your attention to the breath, continually watching it, maybe noticing the breath's qualities, be shallow or deep, slow or fast, steady and easy, or maybe erratic and a little bit forced. And we're not judging it, we're just taking it in, just witnessing it. And then take a full body scan. Just notice what's going on in your body today. How do your joints feel? Are there any muscles that are talking a little bit louder than the others? Do you have any sensations in the belly or the abdomen? And just becoming aware of them and acknowledging those sensations. I'm beginning to lengthen, slow down the breath, letting it be longer on the inhale, even longer on the exhale, allowing the body and the mind to begin to relax, to be present in this moment. Using that breath to slow down and become a bridge between the mind and the body. And on your next inhale, coming back up to tabletop. So wrists are beneath the shoulders, fingers are spread wide, and those knees come underneath the hips. We'll take a few cat and cows, 
So we inhale using the full length of the inhale to point the tailbone up, drop the belly and pull the heart through the shoulders. As you exhale, using the full length of the exhale to point the tailbone down, round the back and press the mat away from you through the palms. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale, letting the movement start at the tailbone, travel up the spine all the way to the crown of the head. As you exhale again, let that movement start at the tailbone, going up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the skull. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to a neutral spine. And from here, we'll plant the right hand on the mat and bring that left arm up to the sky. As you exhale, thread the needle. That right hand can walk out in front of you. Let the hips kind of weight back towards the heel as that right hand reaches out in front, finding an even longer spine. Next inhale, bring the right hand underneath the shoulder, press into it as you bring that left arm up to the sky again for a little chest opening. And then exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale, plant the left hand, bring the right arm up. Again, open up the chest towards the sky. And then exhale, thread the needle, right arm goes underneath the left. Can walk that left hand out in front of you, creating space between each vertebrae. On an inhale, bring that left arm underneath you. Again, press into it, right arm comes up. And then exhale, bring the right hand down, returning to tabletop. We'll do some bird dogs here. So inhaling, lifting the right arm out in front of you, and lifting the left foot back behind you. Stay here for the exhale, finding length in the spine. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, reach. Exhale. This time, a little bit more challenge. We'll inhale, bend that left leg, and then exhale, extend it. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more time, bend the knee, and then exhale, extend, and bring it back underneath. Opposite side this time. Inhale, left arm out in front of you. Exhale, right foot back behind you. Inhale, reach long. Find a strong core. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make sure that right hip is pointing down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend that right knee. So that thigh is parallel to the mat. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend with control, slow and steady. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend it. Exhale, lengthen. One last time, inhale, bend. And then exhale, bring that left hand down to the mat, extend the leg, and bring it down too. Inhale here, exhale. This time, I'm going to face the center of the mat, and I'm going to come to standing on my legs, or standing on my knees, sorry guys. From here, we're going to stretch that right foot out to the side, so my right toes are facing the front of the room. From here, inhale, find a long spine. Exhale, slide the right hand down the right leg. Feel a stretch in that left side body. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, plant the left hand on the mat. Option is you inhale to bring that right leg off the mat, reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, set it down, and then inhale, come back up the center. Exhale, slide down the right leg. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, with control, plant the hand on the mat. Inhale, lift the right limb. Exhale, slowly set them down. Inhale, come back through center. One more time. Exhale, side stretch. 
Inhale up. Exhale, plant the left hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, plant the hands. And then inhale, come up. Bring that right knee underneath you and we'll do the other side. So finding an inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, this right hand plant, we'll do it this side. Inhale, lift the left leg and the left arm. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, find that side stretch. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, plant the right hand and inhale as you lift up. Exhale, set them down with control. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, slide. You might feel a stretch on the inside of this leg. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plant the palm. Inhale, lift up the modified side plank. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, back to center. Last time through. Exhale, slide. Inhale, up. Exhale, hand plants. And then we'll lift on inhale. And bring it back down as you exhale. And then inhale back to center. We have done one more on one side, but that's okay. We're not even as we go through life anyways. We're using usually one side more than the other. So we'll bring our hands back to center. Bring the knees in. And then from here, we will curl the legs or curl the toes under, lift the knees up off the mat, and then press back to downward facing dog. So in down dog, you're in an inverted V. Fingers are spread wide about shoulder width, and hips are about or feet are about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. You can pedal out the legs, bending one knee and then the other, walking your dog, since this might be the first down dog of your practice today. You might want to bring a little bit of movement to the legs before we start flowing a lot. When you're ready, return to stillness. Press the mat away from you through the palms, sending the sit bones or the hips back and up to where the wall and the ceiling meet behind you. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, bring that right knee to the right elbow and hover. Inhale, press back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow again and hover. Inhale, press back. Exhale, this time we're gonna step the right foot through between the palms. Finding lizard pose, we'll bring that left knee down. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right knee. Walk the right heel out and up. We lay the left toes down on the mat. From here, you're welcome to stay on your palms. You're welcome to come down to your forearms. The set feels good for you. Just looking for a hip stretch here. Coming back up to the palms if you're on your forearm, curling those back toes under, lifting the knee up. Step the right foot back to meet the left. This time we're going to walk the left hand into the mat and come to side plank. Your options are to kickstand one of the legs or you can stack the ankles. If you're stacking the ankles, you also have the option to lift that top leg. Wherever you are, take one more inhale here, and then exhale, bring it back down, high to low plank. We'll take that flow, or you can meet us in down dog. If you're flowing, lower down, knees, or, knees down or up. And then inhale, you can come to cobra or upward facing dog. I've chosen upward facing dog. Exhale, use your core, press back, and find downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg up, three-legged dog here. Exhale, shift forward into plank and find that left knee coming to hover at the left elbow. Exhale, press back. And then inhale, bring that left knee to left elbow. Exhale, press back. Inhale here. And then exhale, step it through, low lunge. From here, bring that left hand to the inside of the left foot. Toe heel the left foot out and up. Lay that back leg down. And from here, decide if you're staying on your palm or if you want to come down to your forearms. Either way, we're looking for a stretch in the hips, in that groin area. 
Try to relax the shoulders. From here, you're welcome to come back up to your palm. And we will curl the back toes under, step the left foot back to meet the right. This time we're walking the right hand into the center of the mat, coming to side plank. So if you'd like to kickstand, you can do that. If you'd like to stack the ankles, it's an option too. Inhaling, if you're lifting that top leg, stay for the exhale. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, bring it all down, plank. Decide if you're flowing or if you're meeting in down dog. If you're flowing, you can lower down to the mat, knees up or down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. I'm doing cobra this time. Exhale, everyone meets in downward facing dog. Adho Svanasana. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, bend the right knee, open up the hips. I like to call this one fire hydrant. <laughs> I keep my hands equally weighted as I open the hips up. Inhale, lengthen that right leg, let the hips face the mat again. And then exhale, step the right foot through to low lunge. This time we're gonna try some challenge for our balance and our strength. So we're gonna bring that right arm up to the sky, planting the left hand on the mat. On your inhale, keep your legs where they are and rise up into this twist. Very nice. Exhale, bring the hands that they face forward. Inhale here, reach up. And then exhale, open up to warrior two. So that back foot is 90 degrees or parallel with the back edge of the mat. The right knee is over the right ankle. My arms are reaching out to opposite sides of the room. One's the front, one's the back. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, reach up to the sky. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, last one, lengthen. Exhale, come through warrior two, bring the hands to bring that front foot, pivot the back foot, step the right foot back. Decide if you'd like to flow or meet us in down dog. If you're flowing, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, bend the left leg, open up the hips. Inhale here, exhale. Keep the hands equally weighted, opening up the hips. One more inhale. Exhale, let the leg extend and the hips face the mat and step it through, low lunge. From here, stay on the ball of that back foot, plant the right hand to the mat, bring the left arm up to the sky for a twist. Steady your legs, find your strength, find your foundation. As you inhale, let that air coming into your lungs lift you up as you float up into this twisted crescent lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, face the front of the room. Inhale, let the arms reach up to the sky. And then exhale, open up to warrior two on the left side. Left knee is over the left ankle. Right leg is long and strong. Arms are reaching out in opposite directions. Gazes out over the front middle finger. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Gaze goes up towards the hands. Exhale, return to warrior two. Gazes out over the left hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come through warrior two. Bring the hands to the mat. Pivot the back foot. Step back. High to low plank or meet in down dog. Lower down if you're flowing. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. This time we'll inhale, pivot the back foot 45 degrees. So it's only slightly angled out and rise up to warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands behind your back, interlace them. Inhale, open up the heart. Reach the hands back behind you. 
Exhale, come to humble warrior to the inside of that right leg. Inhale here, hug that right knee into the right shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, rise back up, release the hands, reach up to the sky. Exhale, extend that front leg. Inhale, find a long spine, reaching up. And then exhale, hinging at the hips, still reaching forward. And then finding a stretch in that back of the right leg when you're ready. Reach for the floor or the shin. Keeping that leg as straight as we can. Keeping the spine as straight and long as we can. Inhale here. Exhale. From here, inhale. Reach the left hand. Reach the, sorry. Reach the left hand towards the earth. Had to think about that. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Inhale. Here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, rise up, still in that twist. Exhale, face the earth, or face the front of the room. Inhale, lengthen or bend that front knee. And then exhale, bring the hands to frame the front foot, pivot the back foot. Step the, le the right foot back to meet the left. Flow or meet us in down dog if you're flowing lower down. If you're flowing, inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Get to do it on the left side. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, pivot the back foot 45 degrees and rise up, warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands interlaced behind your back. Inhale, open up the heart, reach the hands back behind you. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Bring the torso to the inside of that left leg. Always an option to maybe step that left foot out a little bit more so your feet are wider apart. On your next inhale, rise up, release the arms. Bring your arms up to the sky. Exhale, extend that left leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge, still reaching forward. Once you find sensation in the back of that left leg, Continue your journey down towards the earth. Hands come to the shin or to the mat. Pyramid pose. So the spine is long, the leg is long. From here, plant the right hand to the mat or to that shin and come to revolve triangle. So that right hand is on the mat, left arm is reaching up to the sky. Continue to breathe here. As you're ready, inhale, coming up still in that twist. And then exhale, face forward. Inhale, bend that left knee, warrior one. Exhale, plant the palms to the mat. Pivot that back foot, step the left foot back to meet the right. If you're flowing, let's do it. If you're not, meet us in down dog. Flowing lower down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, use the core, press back, downward facing dog. Everyone needs a downward facing dog. From here, inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, we're gonna bring it, bring the shin across the top of the mat, coming to pigeon pose. So the closer your heel is to your groin, maybe the more comfortable, the less intense the stretch will be. And we'll have our hips facing forward, facing the front of the room. You can hinge at the hips, lowering down. You can stay on your palms, come down to your forearms. If it's accessible to you, you're welcome to rest your forehead on the mat. We'll be here for a few moments to begin to get comfortable. Allow your breath to slow down if it's gotten any faster. Going with our theme of unity, there is a quote from Mother Teresa, and it's, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. On your next inhale, come back up to your palms, curl the left toes under, and lift the right foot back to meet the left. From here, press back to downward facing dog, and maybe pedal out your legs. 
We're going to from downward facing dog, move you wide in your feet just a little bit, and then take the right hand to the left ankle or the left shin. Reach for it, find that diagonal twist across the body. And then release, bringing it back to downward facing dog. This time placing the weight into the right hand, we'll reach across with the left hand to the right leg, finding that twist across the body this way. As you're ready, release back to downward facing dog. Inhale, we'll bring us forward into plank. And then exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. From here, we're going to lift our right leg up. We're going to bend the right knee. So we're still keeping our hips even. We're going to place our hand, our weight into the right leg, or sorry, the right hand and the left leg. With the left hand, you're going to reach back behind you. If it's accessible, find that right foot. As you inhale, kick the foot into the palm. Keep that right knee in line with the right hip so it's not going out to the side or across the body. Staying right in line with that right hip. Shine the heart forward. Keep breathing. One more inhale. And then exhale, release. We'll do the other side this time, bringing the weight into the left hand. Bring that left leg up, bending the left knee. Reaching the crown of the head forward, so we're creating space in the spine. Take that right hand, reach back to the left foot. Find the left foot in the right hand. As you inhale, kick the foot back. Open up the heart. Gaze forward. Iron out the wrinkles in the back of your neck. Shine the heart forward. One more inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, slowly, carefully release. Returning to tabletop. From here, we're going to look over that right shoulder, find that C curve in the spine, and then come back to center. Look over the left shoulder, find the C curve in the spine on this side, and then come back to center. From here, fingers are spread wide, curl the toes under, and press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the palms, bend the knees. Exhale. Make your way to the top of the mat. We're going to inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. From here, plant the right hand onto the mat, bend the right knee, and then bring the left arm up to the sky. You might feel a stretch on the outside of that left thigh. And then bring it down, we'll switch sides. Left hand plants, left knee bends, right arm comes up to the sky. And then bring it back down. You can put a bend in your knees. Allow your hands to find opposite elbows. Let the spine waterfall out of the sacrum towards the earth. Do we find some movement going side to side, swaying gently? And coming back to center. Releasing the hands towards the earth. As you inhale, slowly rise up to standing. So we've been preparing for dancer's pose. The standing pose, a balanced pose that I like to do. And I feel like the world might be a little bit chaotic because it helps me to create balance in my life physically. And when I find balance on the mat, I find that it's easier to find it off of the mat. I also like dancer's pose because in the spirit of unity, our hands and our feet create a system, a circle of energy in this pose. And so you can keep that in mind as we begin to practice dancer's pose. So we're gonna bring our weight into our left leg. We are going to bend our right foot back behind us, find the right elbow at the right hip, and your palm is up as if you have that bowl of cereal that you don't want to spill. From here, you can choose to find that inner arch of the right foot with your palm, keeping that external rotation to your right arm. As you inhale, bring the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, kick the foot into the palm, keep the heart shining forward, and begin to reach the left hand out in front of you, 
hopefully pointing towards Rishti, your point of focus, something outside of you that is not moving, that keeps you on point, that keeps you on target. Inhale here, kick the right foot back into the right hand. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, release. Shake it out. You let go of whatever happened on that first side. You do some twists with the arms to wrap around and know that you can start the next side with a fresh slate. You don't have to bring anything into it from the other side. No expectation, no judgment. So bringing your weight into the right leg, you're going to bend the left knee, bring that left elbow to the left hip, find your bowl of cereal, don't spill it so that you can keep that external rotation, helping your shoulder to open up a little bit more. Inhale, bring the right arm up to the sky, and then exhale, kick the left foot into the left palm. And you bring that right hand to about the height of your third eye, that space between your eyebrows that helps you to see what cannot be seen. But that right hand point towards your drishti, your point of focus. Feel the tension in that left arm, reaching back to the left foot, the energy in it. One more inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, release. Again, shake it out. Very nice. Let's do some shoulder rolls, letting them roll backwards. It can be as big or as small as you want. And then reverse the direction. Very nice. Find your feet underneath you, and then allow yourself to bring your hands to heart center and rest your gaze downward or close your eyes. Take a moment here, find your breath. We notice its quality. Notice if it's changed since the beginning of practice or if it's the same. Either one is okay. Again, we are just practicing becoming the witness. Allow your breath to slow down again and allow the mind to focus on that breath. On your next inhale, allow the arms to come out and up, opening your eyes as you reach up and then exhaling, pulling that energy down your midline, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms to the mat and then step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, press the mat away from you through the palms as if someone was grabbing your hips and bringing you back. Exhale, find that length in the spine. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, bend the knees, and then exhale, make your way to the top, and then find yourself in a seated position. From here, we're going to bring the right knee pointing towards the front of the room and bring that left knee on top of it. So we're coming to cow pose, like the cow that moves, <laughs> the ones you get milk from. I have no idea why it's called cow pose. If you see the cow, let me know, because I still don't. From here, we are going to bring our arms out wide, and then we're going to bring that left arm underneath the right and find either the palms together, the back of the hands together, or give ourselves a big hug. You're inhaling, grilling tall through the spine, exhaling, softening into the twist a little bit more. Inhale, grow tall. And then exhale, unwind the arms. From here, we're going to bring that left leg so that it points up. If this is uncomfortable for whatever reason, you can always bring that left foot to the inside of the right knee instead of the outside. From here, kind of find your sit bones reading, re, sorry, anchoring into the earth, and then find your left hand behind you like a strong second spine support, and bring the right arm hugging around that left leg. On each inhale, again, you breathe in, you create space between the spine as your lungs fill. Exhale, <coughs> softening into the pose. Inhale, reach up through the spine. 
<laughs> exhale, soften. <laughs> Inhale, unwind. And then we will switch legs. So that left knee is underneath now, pointing towards the front of the room. The right knee is on top. Once you're settled in, bring the arms out wide. And then that right arm comes underneath the left. Again, you can have your palms facing each other. You can have the backs of the hands facing each other. Or you can give yourself a big hug. Inhale, find length. Exhale, find yourself relaxing into the pose, finding something you can soften just a little bit. Inhaling, sending that breath to wherever you feel tension or tightness. And then exhale, letting that area soften. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, release. And this time again, we'll bring that knee pointing up to the sky. It, the foot can be on the outside or the inside of that lower leg. Let your sit bones root into the earth. Bring that right hand behind you as an anchor, and then that left arm comes around and hugs the right knee into you. Inhale, lift up through the spine, through the crown of the head to the sky. Exhale, soften, root down into the earth through the hips. Inhale, create space. Exhale, soften into that space. Inhale, unwind. And then exhale, we're going to come to cobbler's pose, or baddha konasana. So soles of the feet find each other. You can grab the ankles or the feet with your hands, let the shoulders roll down the back, and the knees fall out to the sides. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Let it go. Hands come underneath the knees, bring the knees up. And we'll be going to our backs now, so we'll be coming to bridge. So we're going to lower down all the way to the earth. Knees are pointing up to the sky. Hands are along the sides, fingertips pointing towards the feet. On our inhale, we're going to lift the hips up off the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. As we exhale, we sink the feet into the earth. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, root down through the heels, through the shoulders. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, bring it down to the earth. And reset. Maybe walk the knees wide. Let them fall to either side. No windshield wiping. And then bring it back to center. Feet come back in line with the heels. This time as we inhale, we'll come to bridge pose, lifting up the hips, sinking the feet down into the earth, maybe interlacing the hands underneath you if that's in your practice and feels good for your chest and shoulders. From here, you can stay here in bridge pose if you'd like. As you inhale, maybe lift the right leg high. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, lift the hips a little bit higher. Exhale, bring that right foot down. Inhale, maybe lift the left leg. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, lift up a little bit more. And then exhale, bring the left foot down. Inhale, lift up the hips one more time, both feet on the earth. And then exhale, slowly come back down, releasing the hands up from underneath you if they were there. From here, bring the knees into heart center. Give yourself a hug. Rock side to side. Coming back to center, planting the feet on the earth. You are welcome to come to bridge pose again, the poses that, or the pose that we just did. Uh, you can come into that on your own time. If you would like to try wheel pose, you are welcome to do that with me. I'll walk you through it. Uh, wheel pose takes a lot of open shoulders, open chest, um, a lot of shoulder flexion overhead. So just be aware of that. If you are coming into wheel pose with me, take your hands flat like you have pizza boxes in them and then 
plant them by your ears, fingertips pointing towards the heels, elbows pointing up. Feet are about in line with the hips, maybe a little bit wider if that's comfortable for you. As you inhale, press the hands into the earth, smashing those pizza boxes. Press the feet into the earth, extend the hands and the feet, or extend the arms and the legs. Stay here, breathing continually. So don't stop breathing just because we're in an intense opening pose. One more inhale, press up, and then exhale, everyone comes back down to the earth, slowly and carefully, whether you're in bridge or wheel. Very nice. You bring the knees into the uh, heart center and rock side to side. Massaging that low back. Bring everything relaxed. So it's an intense pose for the body. It's actually a very vulnerable position to be in. And when you think about it, to have unity, you have to make yourself vulnerable. It requires connection. And so heart openers, I think, can help us to experience unity. From here, coming back to the middle, back to the center, bring your hands to the insides of the knees, find the inner arches of the feet, and find happy babies. Pointing the tailbone down to the earth, you rock side to side. If you'd like to bring movement into this pose. And then coming back to center, releasing the feet from the hands. Let the feet find the earth. We're going to come to legs at the wall or to shoulder stand, whichever one you prefer. I'll walk you through both. So if you're coming to legs at the wall, extend your feet towards the sky, like your feet are standing on the ceiling. You are welcome to lift up your hips, let your hands come underneath your sacrum or your tailbone, making a little bit more restorative, just allowing your ankles, knees, and hips to be stacked. In this position, you're letting the blood flow to the heart a little bit more than it would otherwise. And so that tells the heart that it has more than enough blood, that it can slow down. And that helps the mind to slow down as well. It helps our bodies to relax and enter that rest and digest state of being. If you would like to come into shoulder stand from here, you can lift up the hips, walk the elbows in and then bring the hands to the low back stacking the ankles knees hips and shoulders in the shoulder stand you might feel that your breath becomes a little bit a little bit more difficult to find and so maybe taking tinier sips of breath would be helpful here wherever you are you're coming into an inversion with your feet above your head. Take another inhale, whether you are in legs at the wall or you're in shoulder stand. And then as you exhale, slowly, gently come back down towards the earth and extend the feet towards the front of the room. Reach the arms overhead, stretching long fingertips to toes. And relax. This time we'll inhale, reach the feet over to the right side, reach the arms over to the right side, stretching long into that crescent shape, and then exhale, relax towards the center. Inhale, stretch over towards the left side, feeling that stretch in the right side body. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, reach long fingers to toes in a long, straight long line, and then exhale, release. From here, we will bring our knees into heart center, keeping that right knee in towards the chest, extend the left knee out towards the front of the room. Bring the right knee across the body to the left side for a twist. Right arm can go out to the side. As you inhale, your hip and your shoulder become a little bit farther apart. As you exhale, you soften, let that top hip relax, let the shoulders fall towards the earth. Inhale here, exhale, inhale, exhale, soften. 
Inhale, come back to center. Extend the right foot towards the front of the room. And then bring that left knee into your chest. Bring the left hand across or left knee across the body to the right side, coming to the twist on this side. Relaxing that top top hip, letting it open up towards the right side. Melting open. And the shoulders grow heavy towards the earth. Inhale, bring the knee back to center. And then exhale, extend the left foot to meet the right. From here, we're coming into Shavasana, our final resting pose. So maybe letting the feet go a little bit wider than hip width apart, letting the toes fall out to the side. You can allow the arms to be out along your sides, palms are up in the gesture of receiving whatever you came to your practice for today. And we'll spend the next few minutes here in Shavasana, corpse pose, our resting pose, the pose that allows our bodies to integrate everything that we have done in our practice, to create unity between what we have done, what we will do, to also give ourselves time to pause, to appreciate what we have done and what our bodies do for us. So allow yourself to rest here, letting the earth support you, giving your muscles, your tendons and ligaments, all of the connective tissue, give it a chance to release, give it permission to relax. Give your mind permission to relax and let go. Staying here for a few more minutes, continuing to rest. As a reminder, yoga is not something to master. After all, if yoga is a state of unity, there can be no mastery of an inherent state of unity. There is a quote from Buddha that says, he who experiences the unity of life sees his own self in all beings and all beings in his own self. He looks on everything with an impartial eye. Begin to bring awareness back to your body. Begin to deepen your breath, bringing new life and energy to all the cells, the organs, the muscles in your body. Be beginning to introduce small movements to your fingers and toes. Wiggling your toes, rubbing your thumbs over your fingertips, 
Maybe rocking your head side to side. As you're ready, bring your knees into your heart center. And then rolling to your right side, using your right arm as a pillow. Stay here on your side for just another moment. Just noticing how you feel. And knowing that you created this feeling, that you have access to this at any time, any place. On an inhale, using the strength of your arms, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. You can keep your eyes closed or rest your gaze downward. And then bring your hands in prayer to your third eye so that your thumb knuckles come to the place between your eyebrows. The third eye is that place that helps us to see what cannot be seen. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. My soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. Thank you.